Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on subtracting algebraic fractions with algebraic linear denominators. Now let's think how we usually subtract two fractions. If we had say two thirds and we subtracted a quarter, well a quick way you could do it is to multiply the denominators. So we do three times four which is 12 and we do something called cross multiply the numerators. I'll show you what that means. So we times in a diagonal fashion. So two times four, which is eight. We put the minus in the middle because we're subtracting and we do the one times three to form this cross. That's why we call it cross multiplying. So we do one times three, which is three and then eight minus three, that's gonna be five twelfths. So that is the method we're gonna use. And just because these are algebraic fractions rather than normal fractions involving numbers, that doesn't change the mass. We still do the same thing. So. We're going to multiply the denominators, so we can just leave it as two brackets, 8x minus 3 times by x plus 3. Never use the time symbol in algebra, always use brackets to multiply two things together. And then we're going to cross multiply the numerators. So the 8 is going to get multiplied by the x plus 3. And my advice is don't try to do too much at once. You could sort of expand that out at the same time when you write this. But you'll likely make a mistake when you do the subtraction and make some sign errors. So I wouldn't do it all in one go. Minus 3 times 8x minus 3. Because the problem is, if you try to expand this out at the same time, you might not realise that when we do the minus 3 times the minus 3, that's actually going to become positive 9. So I would do it in this way to avoid potential errors. Now, there's no need to expand out the denominator because it's already factorised. By factorised, I mean you've got something times something. But the numerator is not factorised because it's something minus something. It's not factorised because it's not something times something. So we want to expand this out. 8 times x is 8x. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 3 times 8x is minus 24x. And minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9, not minus 9. Very easy mistake to make and I'm going to leave this factorised. You don't get any extra credit for expanding this out. But we can collect like terms in the numerator. So 8x minus 24x is minus 16x, and 24 plus 9 is 33. And that, if we write in the denominator, is the final answer.